Hey guys, what's going on? It's Adamus Prime here coming at you with an extremely useful tip in order to allow you to improve the rating for your park at a significant rate as well as to cram as many, many dinosaurs as you can. If not, try to come on the sandbox island and fit all the dinosaurs into one island. And that is going to be how to mix carnivores and herbivores as well as some carnivores with other carnivores. And there's going to be a total of three possible combinations that you can do this with but it doesn't limit the species at all with the first one we hop into we have a couple of velociraptors inside of this exhibit which roam freely with a pair of ankylosaurs now the combination here that works is going to be a matter of small carnivores being mixed in with armored herbivores so you have the ankylosaurus you have the polocanthus you have the Sauropelta, you have the Notosaurus as well as some of the other ones that are armored with sp spikes and plates. Now I'm not saying you have to specifically use the Velociraptor, it's just any small carnivore. So you have the Dilophosaurus or the Dionychus as well. There's really no restrictions here, just make sure both of them have their basic needs met. Comfort at 100%. Simple stuff here, there's nothing special to be known for this one. So then we move over here into this exhibit where we have Metriacanthosaurus with quite a few Dionychus. So this one is actually going to where, be where you need to have a few considerations built in. You're going to need a rather sizable exhibit. This is uh, over the top just because I'm in the sandbox mode and I have plenty of space to build. So what you're going to need is, as you can see over here, we have plenty of water spots for them to go and get away from one another as well as plenty of feeding spots I have two on this side as well as two on this side as, and then also as well as meeting all of their basic needs making sure that the population isn't over over met as well as their social needs aren't over met they're gonna get along just fine just as long as they have plenty of space to roam around and do their own thing now occasionally, I don't know if they're going to do it right now, but occasionally they will square up and it'll say that they're going to fight, but that's usually only over a matter of who's close to the food when it's time to eat and who's close to the water when it's time to drink. In which case the smaller carnivore will just circle up and pretend like it's getting ready to fight and then it'll run away and start panicking. And this isn't going to decrease the comfort, this isn't going to start a fight to where your dinosaurs will actually start to kill each other it's just something that the developers have put into the game to signify that one carnivore is superior to the other other than that moving on over to the last one over here which is definitely going to take quite a sizable exhibit just out of the fact that you have sauropods so in this one i have brachiosaurus mixed in with a pair of giganotosaurus so this combination is going to be large carnivores mixed in with large herbivores. As you can see there, it's panicking and this one is still just roaming. So that's the most that's going to happen there. They're not going to hunt down or kill each other. Anything of the sort, they're not, their comfort isn't going to go down because of it. The reason his comfort is down is just due to the fact of sauropods are really hard to please in regards to grasslands and woods the major restriction here is just going to be a matter of making sure that your large herbivores needs are met at the same time as where your large carnivore needs are met other than that you don't need to put too many feeders in too many places of water i just did because like i said i'm in the sandbox mode and it's easy to use now as i've said in one of my previous videos the only dinosaur so far as of today is that you can't house with anything else in the game is going to be the indominus rex now as of tomorrow when the next patch comes out where with those six new dinosaurs including the indoraptor the only male dinosaur to come into the game that'll probably be a different story all right thank you all very much for watching i hope this has helped you out if it has comment down below and let me know leave a like all right Take care.